going to show you our project IoT based home automation system over the cloud. In our project, you know, we have uh, our hardware requirements such as our power supply which, which regulates and gives us 5 volt and this 5 volt is, dis is given to our electromechanical relay and also our node MCU. In, in, uh, in this region we have DST11 sensor where it displays, where it senses the temperature and humidity sensor. And here's the I2C OLED screen display where it displays the status of a load of our node MCU. And here is our uh, solid state relay, solid solid state relays where it, where it, which is connected from our node MCU to control electrical to control higher electrical load appliances. These elect whereas for electromechanical relays, this is for uh, controlling our uh, lower electrical appliances. Yes. So here we are. We have three ways to control our load appliances. First is our web page where we get an app where where the IP address is shown in this display. And second is our an app. So as you can see here, where there is uh, no, where you can see the buttons to switch on or off our load appliances. And third is our Google Assistant. Well, um, yes. Here's a Google Assistant where we can give our voice command right over here. So whenever we give our, uh, whenever we tell to turn our turn on our load, it gives us it gives the status right over here. Yes, here's the app which I'm gonna show you to control our load appliances. So you can see here our load one, load two, load three, load four, and here's our emergency load. So whenever mm, the system gets turned off, it will automatically turn on. Okay. So here I'm gonna start turning on this load one and the rest and rest of the following loads. So here whenever I'm giving whenever I'm giving this command to turn on, you can see here it turns on the load, the our tube light. And similarly for our load two, the LED uh, light is on. And here, similarly for the rest of the loads, three, four, five. Okay, here is our load fifth, where we can use a smaller electrical load appliances. And here is our sixth load. This is used for emergency purpose. So whenever the this uh, the whole appliances gets turned off. This will turn on automatically. And here's our load seven. Okay, here. So here is our storage state relay which controls this higher load appliances. And as you can see, like uh, this actually works. And here's the final load which is for higher load appliances such as geyser etc. ACs. Okay now let's turn off all the loads and and then we'll shut down our main uh, AC appliances. Once it, it, it shuts down this should turn on as our emergency load. Alright so here I'm gonna turn off. Sorry. Now I'm going to turn off the whole of the system and let's see even if this emergency system works or not. Good. So you can see here our the whole system is shut down, even our OLED screen is not working, and henceforth this is working as our emergency system. This emergency system is controlled to is connected to night mode battery. So here is our Google Assistant where we can give our voice command to turn on all the loads. So first, we'll f for the first test, you know, if we can turn on our load 2 using our voice command. So here is the one. Okay Google, turn on switch number 2.
here we can get our response here after some time yeah this is our uh, now here's our response from our google assistant that is turned on so now again i'm going to turn off the same load so okay google turn off switch number 2 okay so you can see here that you know our the response here's a response from the google assistant that uh, you know the the switch the load is switched off and this is our status of our load